Hello guys, I welcome every single one of you to our newest video and I'm a little bit sick. So I want to apologize if my voice is sounding that bad, but I hope it gets better in a few days. With that said, I want to introduce you to our newest video, which is about items you probably don't remember. That's right, we have few items that I want to show you and let's see how many of them do you remember. Our first item is Kira's Blood Razor which was an item that got added to the Dominion mod and probably not many of you know that but it was used by champions with high magic penetration and attack speed versus enemy champions with a lot of health and low magic resist and eventually at patch 3.11 the item was removed. Second item is Emblem of Valor which was a really decent item and a cheap one. For 650 gold you are getting your allied champions plus 7 health regeneration per 5 seconds. And even if champions were not near it, it was a pretty efficient item and for good early game it was the perfect item for Hammerdinger and his turrets because of this stacking and granting good early game for your allied champions. But still at patch 3.14 the item got removed and remade into the new item. Yeah, you probably guessed it, it's Relic Shield. So, let's continue with our next item. Which is Alisa's Miracle. A legendary tier item in the game and the cheapest. That was so OP at one point and it was built only by upgrading your Philosoph Stone. Which is an item you might not know but it's our next online so we're gonna look over it in a bit. But let's get back into the item that gives you a unique passive, which is that your summoners like heal clarity and the removed spell 5 wounds. CDs are reduced by 25% and the whole thing was that if you gain 3 levels with the item, you gain all the effects permanently and the item is being consumed. Next thing you know, patch 3.14 comes by and the item got removed. Our fourth item is Philosopher's Stone, which is a good early item to get because it gives you both health and mana regeneration for a small cost. And the bonus for that whole thing <laughs> is that it grants you 5 gold for 10 seconds. It was a perfect item for supports and junglers, or I guess don't believe in your last healing skills, it's a perfect fit. Even though the item could be built into 4 different items like Shirelius Reveres, Elasia's Miracle, Ormrek and Michael Crucible. And time passed and Riot changed a bit the item to that point that the good old patch 3.14 came in and the item got renamed to Nomad's Medallion which is an upgrade for Ancient Coin. I just wanted to pause the video and ask you to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell so you get notified about our newest video and let's continue with the video. And the item lived happily after. <laughs> the fifth item is just a unique one. I present you Runic Bulwark, which is a decent tanky item granting your health, armor and magic resist. And can we start with the bonuses? His aura was that nearby allies get plus 10 armor, plus 25 magic resist and plus 10 health regeneration. Nearby minions gain additional 50% armor, magic resist and health regen and it was a pretty OP item at this time because if you're pre-made and you build the same item it would have given you both the benefits and it would be doubled. But if your allies however get to the aura they would apply only once for them and nothing else like time passed many patches of reworks and nothing was that good for riot but eventually at punch 3.10 the item got removed and let me show you a few clips of the item and let me know what you think about the item and do you find it that OP as I know it was or just let me know in the comments down below I am still waiting. Okay, let's just continue with the clips.
Now for the last three items, I'm gonna show you few elixirs. Starting with SSO Elixir of Agility. That grants you 12 to 22% based on the level bonus attack speed and 8% critical strike chance for 240 seconds. The elixir was automatically applied when purchased if there are already 6 items in the inventory and it was best used on DPS champions that would benefit from attack speed and crit chance like Trundamere. Our second elixir is Elixir of Brilliance that grants you 25 to 14 based on level ability power and 10% cooldown reduction for 180 seconds. This elixir was best used for mages or other champions that scale with ability power, but the cooldown reduction was useful on every champion. It's also a perfect item for mana-less champions that lack the blue buff and need cooldown reduction. Using the elixir during the mid to late game, it's a good way to reach 40% cooldown reduction cap without having to buy the items. And as I didn't mention for the previous elixir, all of the three elixirs were removed at patch 4.20. Our last item for the video and third elixir is Elixir of Fortitude. That grants you 15 attack damage and 120 to 235 based on level health for 180 seconds. Also restores the same amount of health on use which was a pretty OP item. Most of the top laners were starting with it and mid laners as well. If you're playing against an enemy with ignite it was the perfect escape. Because if he ignites you, you just have to use the elixir and you're gonna be safe for sure. Because he grants you health momently and it's just priceless. And I'm gonna leave you with a few clips about the elixirs. While we're enjoying the last clip, I just wanna thank you for staying till the end of the video and I want to ask you to hit the subscribe button, ring the notification bell and why don't you leave us a like. With that said, we're gonna meet in the next video.